The following is an insight into how relationships are constructed within the virtual world. These changes have taken place over time, as well as the benefits of online dating, including efficiency and the ability to open up and create avenues for people to engage with each other. Along with the benefits, I also acknowledge that there are negatives associated with partaking in romantic or sexual relationships in the online virtual world, as it has made society too needy, picky, or even blatantly racist. These will be touched on later, but first, let's take a quick look at relationships and the changes over time. Personals can be found in local newspapers, mainstream newspapers, as well as any classifieds. Sophia De Marcy writes that these ads were an outlet for people to locate other like-minded people, especially in the thin markets, such as divorced persons, middle-aged, or the LGBT community. There was lots of stigma associated with these ads, as it was looked upon as deviant activity or perverts looking for sexual encounters. With the birth of the internet came Match.com. This was a revolutionary website, not because it was a dating website, but because of its formula. There have been previous dating websites that had tried to implement the correct dating tools. These involved social scientists trying to match people based on complicated algorithms. Match.com was different. They allowed clients to select each other in real time, placing all power back in the user's hands. By 2005, Match.com had over 40 million registered people and the migration from personal ads to the virtual pages of the internet had boomed. With this popularity of Match.com came other online websites looking to explore and expand the market. Friendship, long-term relationships, casual sex and a variety of other online websites were introduced to the world. Sophia estimates that there are currently 2,500 dating websites in operation with approximately 40 million visitors each month. Internet or online dating has become a popular and mainstream path in which people explore and find intimate partners. With increased advertisements and strategic marketing, Sophia DeMarcy concludes that the online dating genre targeted and su successfully hit a market that promised to be to transform unhappy, lonely, single people into blissful, content couples. All they need to do is join, create a profile, and this could all be theirs. This marketing strategy and perceived results-based strategies allowed online dating to become attractive to the mass audience. A key aspect and benefit of online dating was the efficiency aspect. Having options or results in real time was and still is a huge drawcard for the audience. As well as the efficiency of the online dating, the expanding opportunities for people are another benefit to the changes in relationships. This is especially particular for people of sexual minorities, ethnic or racial minorities, as these are often limited in their search of eligible partners. The feeling of rejection isn't as bad or as drastic either, as another click or swipe away, there's more options. Apps like Bumble, the female is forced to make the first move. This creates another dimension to the dating game. With increased volume and online dating becoming more mainstream, it has allowed the stigma to be uh, removed. In today's world, it's very common to openly discuss and talk about online dating in social settings. Finding a Tinderella, it's a common term, and there's no need to create decoy stories. These sites allow for each person to select what they are looking for and what they desire, whether it be age, race, or sexual orientation. But is it a good thing? Kiss me under the light of a thousand stars Oh darling, place your head on my bed 
too many choices can be detrimental with the chances very strong that people can become too picky. Stereotypes can be brought into play. Yusuf Tamanama describes the stereotyping as a shopping list with likes and dislikes in a person. People having their own list, what they tick off as they scroll along. Plus there's the race card. The role that stereotypes play in online dating has become so profound that SBS is even doing a documentary on this exact topic. Date My Race is due to end at the end of the month and follows the online dating of guests who display some aspects of racial prejudice, whether they know it or not. As well as the disadvantages of stereotyping people, Fleur Gabriel determines that increased social media performance can be detrimental to an individual. Social media sites and online dating requires users to con consciously, visibly and deliberately perform their identity. Advertising and marketing industries have defined person, a person's self-worth through narrow standards of physical and sexual conformities and marketing identities. Fleur concludes that these have created ethically degenerate, careless zombies. Online dating represents a spectacular change in the process of dating and finding a partner. However, all aspects of this change need to be taken into consideration. It has provided an open platform for pet members of a smaller, thinner section of society to meet each other, as well as strengthening the boundaries for people finding to engage relationships with. It is up to the individual to choose to be open-minded and understand where and what their actions online represent, and would they do them in a social setting.